Hey, what's up guys, it's Anik and this is another episode of Quick Tips and a very specific effect. And honestly, I have no idea if you'll ever come to use this effect, but hey, why only learn the most necessary stuff, right? When you can throw some random things in between as well. And this is what we're going to create today. Quick disclaimer though, recently I was told that I tend to rush through my quick tip tutorials and well, this will be no different, sorry about that. But I initiated this series exactly for the reason to quickly go through the steps to take to achieve a certain look, because in the end it really comes down to your taste and the project at hand, so yeah, I guess you just have to deal with it. <laughs> so roll the intro. So here we go. I already created a few text layers with a friendly reminder to drink enough water. Because you know, I care about you. And actually we do nothing else with this setup than pre-compose it. So highlight all the layers with controller command A and then hold down control and shift for a PC or command and shift for Mac and hit C on your keyboard. Name it something like text. Make sure you have move all attributes selected and uncheck open composition as we do not need to go in there. With the new composition selected, hit controller command D to duplicate the layer. Highlight the duplicate and search for the effect CC Mr. Mercury. Yeah, that is a thing. Add Freddy to the layer. And here's exactly what I was saying in the beginning. If I were to describe every single setting and option you see in this effect, this tutorial would just be too boring and too long to follow. So instead, let me quickly go through which elements are actually changed to achieve this look. Initially, all drops will spread from a single point, but that's not what's happening with water in the real world, right? So just increase the source radius X and Y to spread the origin out. Reduce the velocity, gravity and resistance to make it look like it's slowly running down the screen. Change animation type to twirly, because it sounds good, and adjust blob birth and death size to whatever you see fit. If there are too many droplets, you can play around with the birth rate and longevity. With all that out of the way, you can either call it a day, or to make it more organic, add another layer of droplets. So duplicate the effect layer with Control command D, and change the numbers around. For example, making the blobs bigger or smaller and move the producer around. Just play around with the settings at hand until you find something you like. Finally, I like to change the track mat of the base text composition into Luma inverted. Changing the track mat will turn the layer above invisible. So just activate it again and you will have a very subtle change, which in my opinion does add that little extra. Because, as you guys know, I'm a big fan of subtle changes. Well, and there you have it. Now, this is probably not an effect you'll find yourself using day in, day out. But, come on, you'll never know. And actually, that got me thinking. Which kind of effect did you learn at some point and didn't really expect to use? Just to come around and use it every now and then. I think for me, for example, that would be CC Bandit. Maybe I should do another video about that one as well. Anyways. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe if you aren't already, and ring that bell to be notified about future videos. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers! If you liked this video, don't forget to smash that like button. That was Peter inspired. Cheers! Ch cheers! Cheers! No chairs. Cheers!